away, they say, because we don't want your broken heart. I learned to be ashamed of all my scars. Run away, they say, no one will love you as you are. But don't let them break me down, because I know that there's a place for us. All we are member of choir. My name is Mary. I'm the oldest member of the choir. Nice to meet you. High five. Oops. I love it. You love it. I love the choir. I love singing. I've never sung on my own. We're all the same. They all have their little bit of uh, trouble, haven't they? Yes. So they all have their trouble. I have great passion for older people. I lost my grandmother last October, and she loved music. Music was her thing. So we came up with the idea of doing intergenerational projects. Earlier in the year, we done cooking and we done dancing, and then we looked at the next common interest to both ages would be singing, music. Music's uplifting and therapeutic, but mostly we wanted the choir to get, it's for them to benefit out of this, not us. It's about the individuals within the choir. join the choir there's two reasons I enjoy singing yeah. and I do have a case of dementia which it seems to be getting worse and then a friend of mine told me about the choir and she said you know if you go there maybe that'll help you kind of settle your brain a little bit more and then make you think a little bit better rather than just sitting around moping all the time and complaining so I joined the choir I, I became too secluded. With the choir, I meet other people. I find out I'm not the only one that has problems. It gives me much more self-confidence. Choral singing and choirs have been shown over many, many studies to improve people's well-being, their mental health, their physical health, uh, their self-esteem, and their feeling of belonging in inclusion and that's what's so special about a choir like this. I think the confidence is huge. The confidence and the friendship but the confidence in people has really grown. You know it's a wonderful thing to be able to sing. Four years ago I had a breakdown right. and uh, it, uh, it really helped me to come out of myself again. That's why I joined the choir, and to get more confidence in myself. And you must be looking forward to what you're going to do every day. Yeah. You get out of bed, you get, you know, especially when you're older, yeah. you have to have something to look forward to. It's very good for, for for improving your breathing and um, I have a heart condition so I had some stents put in about 12, 13 years ago um, so I would be doing cardio a lot as part of, uh, part of my programme and uh, I find this thing and certainly helps. That's been great fun. I, I'm going to learn off them, they're learning off us really. 
We um, love singing. I feel part of something good. I really do, and I get a great buzz out of it. Feels great, amazing, heartwarming. If that's the thing. Good description. <laughs> Is it cool? <laughs> yes. But she always goes, makes us do, oh happy day, oh happy day. Oh, happy day. Shh. Get rid of those teeth. Can you walk through a wall? Your teeth are like a wall. They know what's going to travel through your teeth. Get rid of them teeth. She's marvellous. Marvellous person. She's a lady. Veronica brings out the best in you. I say it doesn't take no, no half measures. You either do it right or you don't do it at all. <laughs> so uh, she, she just persists with you, you know. I found her very attractive in the beginning. Okay. Well, in the very beginning, I found her very attractive. <laughs> I did, actually. I would agree. <laughs> Absolutely.